Right, welcome to Dublin. You've got the fight you wanted. You called called for it back in uh, in Glasgow. A um, couple of days away. Your thoughts on the fight first off? Um, you know, I'm I'm confident. I'm an undefeated fighter. Uh, training one of the best camps in the world. You know, and I, I feel I feel unstoppable. To tell the truth. And, uh, yeah, I'm just ready to get in there and uh, find a good performance. How's the development been going over at TriStar? You've been over there for a little while now. Um, obviously, you're training with some elite level guys over there. You know, Rory Mack and GSP still knocking around over there. I mean, how how how's that benefiting your game as you come into this fight? Yeah, that that's benefiting my game a lot. And also, you know, for this camp, um, brought in a a very high level uh, grappler from uh, Henzo Gracie Academy. I've been inspiring some of the best boxers in the world. Inspiring Lucien Buter, former world champion. Um, different level guys compared to you know what I'm going to be competing on Saturday. And uh, in terms of what Pendry's going to bring to the table, I mean, he's he's going to have uh, all of the crowd on him. He's coming in off the back of a defeat. There's a little bit of pressure on him, perhaps. Um, how are you planning on sort of nullifying that that crowd and sort of silencing them early on in the fight? Um, just bring you my game. You know, technically, I, I believe I'm levels above Pendred. You know, the reason I think Pendred's so good is because he's delusional. I think his belief is incredible, and he just keeps going. I think technically, he's, he's I'm out of his, out of his league. To be honest. And oh, sorry, go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get ready for free range. You know, Pendra's a tough guy and he keeps going. But uh, if the finish is there, I'll take it. Last fight, you know, obviously the lead off of CB has been a lot of grab. The last fight, the lead off of straight fight, it was beautiful for you. Obviously, Carl Strikes would be in the grab in the apartment. Can you just, can you imagine just constantly just trying to box him? Yeah, definitely. But um, as I say, I think I'm better everywhere. So if he goes to the ground, I'll, I'll beat him on the ground and uh, on the feet. Uh, you know, I train some of the best boxers in the world, so uh, my boxing is superior. And I, 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 st I still haven't really had a chance to show that, you know. And uh, you know, last fight I, I got to show a little bit of my, my, my boxing. Speaking to Joe, you know what happened? You know exactly when you're there. I was actually sparring at the time, you know, uh, he, he just got, he got caught with a shot, you know, we, we always, um, we're always sparring uh, one week out from the fight as normal and, you know, it happens, it's a contact sport. Can you uh, confirm who uh, Joe was actually sparring with at the time, was it yourself? No, I can't confirm that and no, it wasn't myself. How's he been feeling this morning time he's absolutely Joe? Yeah, he's, you know, he's got it and, you know, he, he didn't pull out the fight, obviously the UFC pulled him out and, uh, you know, he, he's got it, you know, this, this was his event, you know, he was main event and, you know, I see a lot of people kicking the man while he's down and I don't like that. Bringing the uh, questions back to yourself, how do you see the fight actually going on Saturday and have you got a prediction for us? I see myself winning, you know, I believe I will get the finish but I'm ready for anything. You said you weren't happy with your debut performance even though you got a first round stoppage. Um, what was it about that performance that you weren't happy with given, given how successful it was on the night? Um, you know, I, I, set, I set a very high standard for myself, you know, I believe I'm, I'm going to go all the way in this sport and uh, I just I, I felt like I should have been more dominant, you know, I was against a good fighter, the guy that I, I fought last fight, he fought last week and he looked incredible, so, you know, it just goes to show that I fought a good guy and but I, I took him out in the first round in his hometown. Um, I'm probably looking at maybe the London card. You know, I'd like to put on a good performance and get on the main card on, in, in London. If this fight goes the distance, Tom, you've seen Carl win a lot of close decisions in the past. And, you know, obviously being in his hometown, but being in his New York card, if it's close, then, you know, home town and that is going to be in his favour. Oh, definitely. You know, there, there'll be stuff like I could land a clean shot, there'll be no noise from the fans and he could miss or glance and there'll be a lot of noise stuff like that but you know I just I can see myself being very dominant in this and it shouldn't even be close.